So let's talk saddle safety and getting ready for your day. When you start to go ride, I think all of us get really complacent about how our stuff is and we always leave everything in the same spot and we use the same breast collar, the same saddle pad, and we get really complacent to the point that um, we can really be vulnerable to our equipment breaking. So what you need to do is make sure you go over all of your equipment before you make a run or before you even ride, just to see that everything's in, in balance and in order so that you can be as safe as possible. So I am riding a circle Y saddle um, and I'm using my tack here. As you can see, um, I want to check to make sure that the, the backs of these Chicago screws are all really tight on the backs of these. You can even take Loctite that you can get at any hardware store and if you know that this is something that you're going to permanently want and you're never going to change these buckles, take a drop of Loctite, put behind your Chicago screw and then screw it together. The good thing is it'll never come apart. The bad thing is it'll never come apart. So make sure that you really, really love the buckles that you have on it. So I'm going to check on my saddle, not just for the aesthetics. Obviously you can see my saddle's got some dust on it and needs to be cleaned up. But beyond the aesthetics of it, I want to make sure that these D-rings are really in there. These can fail sometimes. I've had these jerk out. Um, not on this particular saddle, but I've had them on some saddles where these will come out. Then you really want to check your, um, your wear leathers and your stirrup fenders and your keepers. So you want to check to make sure that your keepers are in place, that these are adjusted and that your holes look good, that these aren't worn out and really trying to go somewhere. So that's super, super important. When you check underneath on a traditional saddle or on any other saddle, you want to really make sure that your latigo um, looks good, everything looks like it's not too worn. These are one of our ranch dressing latigos, um, come in all sorts of different colors. So I always change these out probably every single run to match my outfits because of course that is muy importante. Um, this is my saddle pad that I like to use. This is my at home equipment so you can see it's kind of dusty, it's been used. Um, and this is what I use on a day to day basis. On this filly, I'm using polo wraps. Um, I love splint boots when I'm on the road because um, with my wardrobe I can't quite keep enough polo wraps in the trailer washed and clean for every outfit so I keep splint boots in the trailer but at home and at jackpots I love to use polo wraps and I'll at another time have a polo wrap tutorial for you guys to see exactly how I do those um, and these are just fun I use overreach boots at home we try to make sure to have protective leg gear on our horses the whole time this is a three-year-old filly that's going to learn the barrel pattern for the first time today so I can put together that tutorial for you guys as well um, in the winter time especially when some of our stuff is sitting we want to make sure and check this cinch to make sure that we don't have any debris um, thistles or any kind of little weird stickers that follow us into the barn you want to make sure that those are out of there because it can really get you hurt. Things can get rank and western in a hurry. So you want to go over all of these pads, make sure that you're brushing those out before you put them on your horse. Make sure that you're cleaning these. Um, you know, a lot of times fungus can pass through the barn and you're going to get some girdage through the barn. So these are always good once a month to take them out, brush them down with a hose, um, wash them off, and then soak them in some bleach and then hang them back up after you rinse them off just to make sure that you get to keep these because these will last for a really long time. I'm using an Air Max Cinch. Um, I'm not endorsed by them. I simply love their product. I've used these for years and years and I really, really like them. I have nothing against any other kind of cinch. It's just what works for me the best. Well, that's it for today, guys. I'm going to go ride this filly now. I am getting back into full swing of making YouTube videos. It's been so long since I've made some, so thank you guys for sticking with me. And as soon as I kick this cold, I'm going to do some uh, where you can see my face and get to know each other. Um, I'm just showing another safety thing here too. When I go to get on my colts or my finished horses, I do tie my halter around their neck, but I make sure I untie it from anything stationary. That way, just like this filly, is kind of fighting with their ears and kind of being a little silly. Um, you, can, you can make sure you're keeping yourself safe and out of a jam by keeping that untied. And then always with your halters, make sure to hang them back up. Don't leave them dragging. Until next time, I will see you guys at youtube.com forward slash Fallon Taylor. And check out all my clothing products at ranchdressin.com. See you guys soon.